Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on custom enchants. So this is an amazing plugin which you can uh, create your own enchantments, uh, get so many more custom ones, uh, add sign shops which are really really cool. And yeah, so first of all let me show you a couple of them. This is a bow with um, fires a volley of arrows. So if we uh, have a look at that, it fires like a hundred arrows in a few seconds which is really, really cool doing a lot of damage. Uh, next we have the lava fire boots. So if I run around with these on, it will set fire to literally everything um, that I walk on. So <laughs> pretty dangerous if you've got a town made of wood. So I'm going to take these off before I damage something. Um, then we have Usain Bolt's boots, which I made earlier. Um, you can change the name, the lore, and obviously the enchantments on the item, which is uh, very, very cool. And you can run them out super fast. So let me take these off and it should get rid of it. Yes, it does. So uh, what have I got here? Med kit. So that would heal me if I was damaged. And yes, yeah, so let's go into the um, menu after I've killed all these enemy mobs. So kill all, all. There we go. So C menu is the command you want. And up here, we can either go into the items section and get any of these custom items. So um, pretty cool. Uh, let's go for this one and just click it and it will give it to you and they do custom things. So when you right click around on this, obviously it um, fires lightning and fire down, so it's pretty dangerous. Uh, we're going to get rid of that before we uh, set fire through all this wall over here. Uh, now if we go into the other section, uh, after grabbing maybe uh, Diamond Axe, see Menu and we go into the Enchantment section, uh, there are all these different sections. So this is a tool and we can uh, choose uh, which ench enchantment to add so um, let's have a look which one looks good uh, ice aspect so uh, when you're here all you have to do is simply left click any item you want um, and if it is a suitable item it will let you enchant and give you the enchantment so I don't actually know what this does but um, I presume it like freezes an enemy or something uh, if it's strong enough to survive one hit so um, I'm going to show you what happens if you try and uh, get an enchantment on an item that it's not meant to go on. This happens, so um, this is a shop, and if I grab some boots and right click, it will give um, the enchantment to the first power. Then if you buy it again, you it upgrades it, and obviously you can upgrade it until it's at the max level, which is 5. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we take that off and we're back to normal again. So let's make a sign um, and then I'll go through the command. So very simple to make a sign. Uh, custom enchant on the first line. Not sure whether it has to be capitals, but it wasn't working when I tried it without capitals. Uh, the enchantment on the second line, I believe there's one called poison. And the fourth line is the cost uh, per enchantment level. So yeah, there we go. So let's try with this and this has poison one on now really really cool and obviously you can uh, add multiple if you wanted to so c enchant um followed by the enchant name and obviously we can get them by doing c list enchantment enchant like that and we can have a look at and see which ones we want so wither let's go for the wither one so c enchant and then wither will add the wither effect to our our um, item and obviously if you put the level afterwards it will choose that level as well so that's pretty straightforward um, and then you can also do C list items and if you want any of these you can do C item and then the item name and it will give it to you so bear trap um, I think all one word and then it should work there we go so uh, yeah just hope that it does not contain bears <laughs> interesting that's cool slowness oh that's that's really awesome so uh, you can try all these out I'm, i've only tried a few out and the ones i have looked at are really funny so you can also change the law and the name of an item which i mentioned earlier so the way to do that is c um change then the name and we're, we're going to want to set it as something so you can use color codes and spaces which is a really nice feature color codes and uh, that will change the name and you can also do this for the law so uh, change name to law set and then type something you can't use color codes for this by the way uh, so law 
law one, and that will change the law. You can also add to the law like this, and uh, it will say on other lines. I believe you can also add to the name of the um, the thing, the item. So let's try that now. Maybe a different color and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, it's added to the name, but without the color code, it's interesting. So uh, I just set the name, to be honest. That's probably the best way to do it. And yeah, that looks nice. So yeah, I believe that is everything in game. Obviously you can do C reload if you've edited the config, which we are about to go into. So here we are in the plugins folder, and if we go into custom enchantments and open with Notepad++, you will see this great long config file. Now most of this is to do with the items and the enchantments, which um, you can see in game, I showed you some of them. And you can change various different values, colors, and name tags, and you can also enable and disable them. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't change any of this because uh, it's, it's all fine really, you can change the cost if you really wanted to, or the name if you were going with uh, an RPG style server, but uh, most of this is fine the way it is, you could disable the overpowered items if you wanted to. Now up here, when we go into the uh, enchantment section, the enchantment probability, which is really cool, when players are enchanting items in the enchantment table, uh, this is the uh, probability that it will pop up. So obviously quickening 25% that is very very high uh, compared to uh, 7% so you wouldn't really see that too often. If we scroll up to the top of uh, the config file there is a few things that we could change. So um, up here it's pretty cool you can change the colors and sort of formatting of it. Italics I don't think that looks very nice if I'm honest. I would change that to bold and instead of dark red, I'd change that to cyan, because that looks very, very nice. Um, here you can enable um, getting these in an enchantment table, which is cool. I'd leave that to true, because that's uh, very, very nice. Um, maximum custom enchants to a thousand, that's crazy. Um, really crazy, I'd, I'd turn that down to about maybe three or five. And uh, require permissions. So if you were going with uh, donator perks or something, you could enable permissions. So uh, only donators or high ranks could get this. Or you could turn it off and everyone could get it. And yeah, that is about it. Obviously you can change the cost of the enchantments as well as the items. So yeah, very, very cool plugin. Um, so much you can change, so many different features and so many different items and enchantments. Uh, this will last you a long time. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.